Oh shoot, the light just came. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Hey, she's on her way, y'all. She just got cut up. Today was their first day, you know, opening up. Yes, here she is. Hold on. Okay. View. We're just waiting for e Refresh to come through. Come through. Hello. Hey, hello. hello. Hey. Hi, I'm sitting in my Jeep with my top down. <laughs> I see Africa. Yes, Africa. Yes, this is Africa. Yes, 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 yes. Well, welcome everyone. This is Vegan Pop Eats. This is a space where all are welcome and you don't have to be stressed out about crossing over to the green side because I got you. Um, we are here with Yolanda Owens, skincare chef, and we are celebrating black vegan businesses. Thank you so much, Yolanda. I know that you are opening up today. I appreciate you taking time out. You were the first person I thought of as far as having a successful black, black vegan business. And I just wanted to touch bases with you to see how everything is going there in Atlanta, opening up today after Corona almost took everyone out. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. So, the, so one of the things that I wanted to touch on is now that, um, of course, I don't know if you participated in the protests and things that are going on because of George Floyd, um, there's been a surge with people are now wanting to pull their dollars from corporate America and now invest in black businesses. How are you feeling about that? I love it. About time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm on board. I mean, you know, one thing that I realized as a black business owner when I when I came into business, you know, I, you know, people were like, you know, you're going to do very well, Yolanda, because you're in Atlanta and you're around a lot of black people. You're from Atlanta. So you're going to have a lot of, you know, just a lot of support. And that was one thing that really disappointed me when I went into business was that mm -hmm. I did not have that. Um, I had some support, so people who are who did support me, I'm not talking about you, but I was really thinking that I was just going to have this black support, you know, for right. my business. And um, I even had friends that I went to high school with, college with, and they would patronize everybody else except me. They would go get their nails done other places because it's like they just didn't think like, you know, you know, they felt like, I guess, the other businesses were, were better or more validated. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But I think the, I, I think one of the main reasons why a lot of people have their little hesitancy as far as supporting black businesses is because they don't have the, um, I guess, the powerhouse as far as, you know, the bells and whistles. So if yes. they don't see the bells and whistles, yes. they're just like, well, I'm not going to support um, they don't have it. And then and a I, lot of the time. I hear that. I hear that too. And so I would say, well, if you support us, then we can get the bells right. and whistles. You know what I'm But a lot of people feel that. Whistles if you don't support us. Right. A lot of people feel that, you know, the passion to be an entrepreneur or a business owner may be there, but some people aren't equipped with the tools to actually execute a business. 
I get you know it. what I'm saying? And it. with that being said, customer service, like I've heard different things as far as, you know, they don't get back to you or, you know, there's an ad or they, they have their sister's cousin at the front desk and she's popping gum and she's not invested because, you know, she's a relative. So she really right. doesn't have to, you know, do the things. But I think that um, now because it's such a surge that people, you know, have taken notice because uh, you give great customer service. Right. Excellent I think, I think they, of course, I'm not speaking to the ones that, you know, that it doesn't, you know, they don't have great customer service. No, of course, right. that's, not, that's not who I'm speaking to. I'm speaking right. to the e-refreshes of the world who, who delivers great, excellent customer service. I, I'm, I'm glad that we are doing this because I mm -hmm. feel like it was a long time coming because as a business owner, I really, I learned, I, I earned for more black support. You know, right. I want more black support so that we can be of excellence, so we can be better, you know? Absolutely. And so I know that in order to be better, we need more business, you know? And so if we support each other, you know what I'm saying? Then we can grow and we can bring in all the buzz and the whistles and all the extra little things that we normally can't because we, a lot of us had to bootstrap our own business, you know? Right. We had a dream, we had a passion. And we just gathered all our little change. I took my 401k. And right. I decided. I remember. To, uh, I remember. Yes. <laughs> and I decided to create my business. So I couldn't start off with, with bells and whistles, you know? And right. so, but, you know, if you have people who support you, then you can. So I'm glad that this surge of us supporting Black-owned business is there because I feel that we carry so much power, you know, right. as entrepreneurs. We are the makers. We are the creators. You know, and, and we can just really turn this world upside down in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, you know, absolutely. We, we support each other all the way and, and, and give us the money so that we can get the buzz, the buzz and whistles. Don't turn us down because we don't have the buzzes and the whistles just yet. You know? And plus, you can't, you can't learn if you don't have something to teach you different because <clears throat> everyone has to start somewhere Absolutely. and i think with Absolutely. us we have such high expectations of each other because we know who we are Absolutely. so it's almost like I, I don't need you to be half stepping when i know that you're great yes so when you when you're doing all those things it's just but now now with the protests and now people are realizing that these corporations now we're finding out all the black corporations that we thought were black we're actually white, like yeah. can too, yeah. African pride. Yeah. Um, and it's shocking. Yeah, it's shocking. A, a lot of those might have started off with a black person. And there's probably a black creator behind there. The inventor was probably black. It probably was right. a black woman or a black man <clears throat> who created the formula. Okay. And so what happened is when we create these formulas or these recipes or these innovative products, then we get bought out or, or the other the other Caucasian or the other will buy right. us out and then that's what happens and that's how it turns other than black you know and I but, found out Carol daughter did that yes yes so a lot of I was shocked a lot I mean because because you know it goes back to I mean I, I, I'm not gonna sell out Evie fresh that's for sure I know you're not but, you but better not <laughs> sell out because we don't have the support when we're black. I'm just letting you know. Like I'm right. fresh. I'm I'm hanging in there and I'm here and I'm passionate about what I've done. But when I look at somebody like a Lush or some other product line that's compatible to me, we don't you know what I'm saying? My people go there than me. You know, I'm a salon. My people are gonna go to the Asian shop than me. Right. You know what I'm saying? You go to an Asian shop right now and it's full of black women. Packed house. Cool back house and they're going every week paycheck to paycheck every week and, and not I'm even worried how much costs and, and, and I'm offering a natural service and I and you know and the thing about it is that I find that we're so hard on us too you know like I can't they my black people won't allow me to fail I make a mistake and I'm sure they ain't coming back to me I'm gonna get a Yelp review I'm gonna get a, a yep. Google Facebook they are gonna shut me down tear me up business may close down you know, so I'm hoping with this new movement and this new revelation that we have more empathy and more compassion. You know, one thing I've learned when I was going through the, this time, we shut down March 19th. I had a lot of my clients who knew that I wasn't having any money coming in. We did a 97% right. decline. 
in revenue. Mm. You know, and so you know, with you know, we wasn't and people would just say, you know what? I normally come to you on a weekly basis, and because I'm not coming, I'm still gonna pay you. I'm still gonna pay you what I normally come. We had a lot of clients that did that. And we had clients that were just like, we just cash app us a hundred dollars, right. two hundred dollars. And that is what I'm talking about when you talk about support. Because they knew we were a small business and they knew that it don't take but like, one or two months and you out, <laughs> you know? You out completely you can't sustain. You know? So so yeah. So what would you, because I'm a new business owner, I start my t-shirts, they drop on Sunday. Uh-huh, congratulations. Oh, and that's cool. Thank you, it's Eat Me, I'm Good For You. Yes, I like that. A play on words, oh, but you know. Oh, my cash app, um, Ewe Fresh, yes. I-W-I Fresh. Thank you, thanks for asking. Yes, send it through, <laughs> send it through. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I like Thank that you. T-shirt. That T-shirt is. Really Thank cute. you. I have several of them, but I'm dropping Sunday because it's my birthday, ah, and I always want that. Okay. Yes, I want that date. I want that date to always be something that's you know important to me because I stopped celebrating my birthday like about six years ago when my mom passed. Okay. So I'm sort of like rebirthing, oh, wow. you know, the business, and so moving forward, there's also three other businesses that I want to. You know, and I talked to you about one of them, but one of the business, a couple of businesses that I want to do, and that's always going to be the date that I want to, you know, launch. That's beautiful. And um, I'm super excited about it because it is a black owned business. Yeah. I'm, I've, from what I've done so far, some, a lot of people have really been on board. What are some of the um, things that you wish that you would have done when you first started? that you, um, if you went back and you would do over again? So number one is always think big. Always think on a large scale, no matter how small you are. Always think large. Um, I would say two, less is more. Less is more. You brand yourself when you're less. Don't try to have a lot of products don't try to solve world hunger. Don't try to just do everything. Less is more. Less sales. You brand yourself. So it's all about branding. So if right. you can be less, don't try to do too many things. I think that's one of our biggest, biggest challenges as entrepreneurs is that we can do. So we want to do because we feel like that brings more revenue. But actually, less brings more revenue. Less okay. bring more revenue because you become consistent. You have less overhead. People are going to remember you because you're branding that one item or the same thing over and over. So when you want to be that go-to, you want them to say, oh, vegan pops or whatever, bam, Angela. You know, they, you, want, you want whatever comes to their mind to go to you. And so whatever that brand is, you have to keep it small. You have to stay less. And it's a very, it sounds easy, but it's a very hard thing to do. Because right. our minds as entrepreneurs, we kind of move in a survival mode. And we, we right. feel like, and then our customers, we let our customers drive us where they're like, oh, can you do this? Oh, can you do that? And you're like, yeah, I can. Oh, can you make that? I can make that. Can you do And the next thing you know, you're like all over the place. And, so and you have so much people, going on. Yeah, and you don't really, you don't make a lot of traction when you have too many things going on. So right. I, I always advise my new entrepreneurs, less is more. And even though you're tempting and you want to, put it in the parking lot. Put it in the parking lot and let it sit for a minute. And just really focus on your brand. Focus on your brand. That is really one, that's the other thing. And then the other thing I say is handle your business. You know, get your business together. Um, I think that's why having one product or keeping it less it allows you to be organized it allows okay. you to organize your business because you're not trying to do all this stuff you can streamline way better you can do you can produce more and then you can be organized you can focus on your business work you know make sure you you know one thing that we don't do that we have to do very early on is make sure you have insurance make sure you get okay. liability insurance <clears throat> period you have to have your liability insurance because you just never know, you never know, you never know, you never know. 
And it comes from people. You could be serving a client. You're doing a T-shirt. Somebody could say that the T-shirt caused them to break out. Okay? Mm. And it caused the allergic reaction. And they can sue you for that. Okay? Yeah, it's a lot of people that that's what they do. They go around trying to figure out who they can sue. And so you want to always protect yourself. So I tell a lot of my new entrepreneurs, is this something we don't want to do because it's extra money? And you'd be like, oh, I don't want to pay the insurance. But you got to. You got to get okay. liability insurance. You got to. You know, um, make sure you get a good accountant or someone that can help you with your paperwork from the jump. Do not mix your personal and your business together. Keep them separated. Hold on to your receipts. Make sure you are holding on so you can tax everything. Tax everything. Okay. Everything. And, uh, you know, you just want to really be organized and handle your business. Make sure that you, um, you know, all your renewals are, are up. All your license renewal. Keep a database of all your renewals and make sure you're renewing all your license in the times that you need to renew because you get penalized and you get fined, you know? Um you know, and um, I think the, the last thing is that, you know, you go in business to be empowered. So I know I left corporate America to have fun. So you right. got to have fun. you got to have fun. Other than that, why are you doing it? Why are you doing it? So when I say that, that means minimize the stress. Just keep right. the stress out. If you keep yourself organized, if you keep it less is more, you can have fun. You can have fun. So that's so with my tips. So I wanted to ask you, um, now that you're opened, um, what were some of the things that you had to change when Corona um, came through and how did you pivot and how were you able to, other than, you know, with the community rallying behind you, how were you able to still keep the brand Ewe Fresh on the tip of everyone's tongue in the community? Oh, yes. That was one of those things that hit me. Um, uh, you know, we kept, when Corona hit, I kept thinking it's going to pass through. We're going to get through right. this. It's going to be about a week or two. We're going to be back in. But that wasn't the case. And once I realized that that wasn't the case, then I knew then that, okay, we're going to have to change our model. We're going to have to pivot. Um, the, the thing that there was only available that was there was the low-hanging fruit was already there was digital. You know, digital right. was already there. We already had a website. We were already selling online, but we just didn't make it our focal point. So now, you know, we had to make it our focal point. Now we're on, we're, we're cleaning up our website. We're really focusing more on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. And yeah. Everything. Um, we're really, uh, my, my thing, what I'm doing now is I'm really trying to make my online digital e-commerce more top heavy. You know, yes. it's the top heavy component as opposed mm -hmm. to the services. Um, we had to, we did some curbside services where we, we knew we wanted to keep our customers engaged. So we knew they needed to get these pedicures and manicures and we need to keep that skin up. So we created these home self-quarantine kits where we put together a mani-pedi kit where we put a fowl and a clipper and a buffer and body scrub and body oil and fingernail polish. And we created like a little kit for them to be at home. And so we did it where they pre-ordered and sent the money to Cash App. And we just came on the curbside and they would drive up and we would just give them the kit and they'd drive off. And uh, we did that for facials and hot shades and uh, mani -pedis. And So how did that make you feel to know that your, your, um, your customers or I guess your family, because once yeah. they've been coming so many times, yes. they become family. How did that make you feel to know that you had provided a service and it was in their minds that, you know, we can't let the sister fail. It How did that make good. you feel? I, I, I feel it felt really good to have some great loyal and, and, cu and any customers and any even people who wasn't even my customers who knew about Ewe was just there to support. And so it really feels good when you have a supportive team behind you when you know you're out there. I mean, I've been in business. We've been here at this location for 13 years going on. 13 wow. years. I've been in business for like almost 17 years and you know and it feels good you know when you hit this pandemic that there's so much love and people showing empathy and compassion for you it really does it, it gives you the inspiration to keep moving and not give up yeah 
So what is the last thing that you would want to tell the people that now that you guys are coming over here to the black businesses, give me three things that you want people to know. Of, and I know the number one is, you know, just, just rock with us because some of us are just beginning, but just don't, don't just us. give up on us. Rock with us. Be patient with us. Support us. I mean, you know, if you see that this black owned business needs help, give them a lending hand. It ain't always money. You right. Know, volunteer. You know, right. pass the word. If you have something that they need. You got frozen. Oh, no. It froze a little bit. It froze a little bit. But I think that what she's oh, so, well, she dropped out. Oh, she left. I think she's coming back. Oh, someone may be calling her. You're right. But um, yeah, we shouldn't give up on our black owned businesses because you know the more that we you know get to them is the more the better that they become because you know the corporations to become Amazon to become Amazon overnight. It took a while to get the nooks and crannies out, but, and, you know, have an expectation, but not such a super hard. Now I'm frozen. I'm frozen. That's crazy. Am I still frozen? Hi. She should be probably coming back. Oh no, I don't want it to be frozen. I don't want it to be frozen. My business, I'm Vegan Pop Eats. Um, for some reason, I have three accounts. So it should have been on my other page, which is Vegan Pop Eats 2. And I talk about the vegan niche. And um, I provide a space for people who wanting to cross over to be a vegan without the judgment. Oh, here she is. Here she is. And I provide a space where I take, before Corona, I would take people out to vegan spaces, um, show out the, whole, the hottest vegan spaces, and then um, allow people to tell their journey to veganism. So now that Corona has taken over, I'm in New York, I do IG Live so people can know more about different um, aspects of veganism and just to educate until we can get back into the streets. And I can, I'm sort of like a vegan godmother, I guess you could say that. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Where I, you know, I, I'm your first experience with veganism without judgment. So that's basically um, what I do. And I do videos and, you know, I also do red carpet because I am a pop culture commentator, commentator. But I'm launching my t-shirts on Sunday, which I'm Yay! super geeked about. And, you know, hopefully I'll be able to pair up with different places that will want to, you know, pop them on because they are a little, you know, risque, but, you know, veganism is cute, sexy, and fun. That's it. But finish what you were saying, Yolanda. I'm sorry about that. My phone did some... Oh, no. Someone, but, um, everyone was like, someone I, called her. I was saying, um, you know, be patient, support, and support doesn't always mean money. It could be volunteer. It could be, you know, giving, you know, vegan, it could be giving some, we get a lot of donations from farmers and farms that donate us fruits and vegetables that we use for the skincare. So, you know, you can look at a black business and just see how can you insert yourself. I feel that right. you should really make that a pledge to say, how can I help black owned businesses? And you, I mean, and it, it's, I mean, it does wonders for us. It does wonders right. for us. So just volunteer. Um, I say, you know, um, Cash App. You know, Cash App is one of those easy ones now. So you can right. Cash App. Well, you know, send the money. I had a brother that came in today, and he told me Stephen Bass came in. Uh, Stephen Bass came into the Ewe today, and he told me that um, they were just talking about Ewe. And so he's in an organization called the Kings. So he's got all these black men together, and what they're going to do is they're going to go and ambush black-owned businesses. As right. black men, so there's gonna be a group of black men coming into your business and just to do whatever you need them to do. They're gonna come in and just support you, and they're gonna support you for, like you said, 
about three to six months and then they'll go on to the next business. Look at God. Yes. That's, Look that's at the God. support we need. That's what we need. Yes. And I just wish that we would um, be of a second chance because, yeah. you know, there's so many powerful businesses out here that are minority, minority owned and black owned. And I want us to have an expectation but I want us to have a realistic expectation. Yeah. Like, and to touch on what you were saying, volunteer. Or yeah. instead of you writing a Yelp review, you can pull, uh, like I had a situation where, you know, I was um, wanting to deal with a black graphic designer. And they just kept on, you know, sending me messages, sending me messages, sending me messages. So I was just like, you know, would you like some, you know, loving criticism? Yes. You know, and I put, you know, and it wasn't harsh. It was just like, you know, yeah. when you have a business, if yeah. your stuff is popping, it speaks yeah. for itself. Yeah. And you know how yeah. you feel when you go to a store, you don't want Sally on your back. You just yeah. want her to acknowledge you. Yeah. And if you need any help, you know, come through and then you could, then she can give you her expertise, but to forever just yeah. be, you know, so you ready, you ready, you want this, what you, what yeah. you want to do, I'm going to do this, da, da, da. you know, it turns people off. Yeah. And I think that that would also be a key thing with the black businesses, because with this surge, you know, right now, everybody is on 10, as in, yeah. I want everything black. Yeah. You know, you go on social media, they're posting, yeah. you know, these are the yeah. black businesses, these are the black restaurants, yeah. you know, we're just, we're just yeah. done. Yeah. But yeah, I think that I when think that happens, you brought out a good point in so many ways. I think, yeah, I think like that should be a conversation to, and a conversation, use those boxes. But you brought out a good point too, is that I think as an entrepreneur, yeah, as a business owner, you do have to be open to receive criticism. Okay. Yes. And receive it and apply it. But I think as black we do have to be impeccable with our word as well. So I practice those four agreements. You know, yes. And that's being impeccable with your word because it is a way that you do say it. You know what I'm saying? Right. But as, as entrepreneurs, we can't be so sensitive. We have to be open to receive it. Okay? And, um, and I'm always, when I get feedback, you know, I never give excuses. You know, right. Because if that was your experience, then that was your experience. You know, and so I have to acknowledge your experience and figure out what can I do to make it better. Because we all, we can't give excuses, but we got to right. receive it. We got to receive it. Because the second yeah. agreement, the second agreement of the four agreements is we can't take it personal. Okay. Cannot take it personal. You got to receive it. And you can't make yeah. assumptions as the third agreement because you can't assume that the, the consumer can assume that you know. I always tell my people, please give the feedback. Right. Please give the feedback because the only way that we are going to be able to improve and make our business better is you got to tell us. But Facts. entrepreneurs, y'all, we got to receive it. We got to receive it. We got to receive right. it so that we can be better. So we can be better. And then the fifth, the fourth agreement is always do your best. Yes. Always do your best, no matter what, no matter what. So, you know, I, I love the four agreements. I apply them to my business. That is the four built pillars of my business foundation is the right. four agreements. So I just tell everybody if they can apply that on both sides, then we both can be impeccable with our words. We can both not take it personal. We can both not make assumptions and we can all do our best. But you take it personal because it's it's your baby. But you can't. But, you can't <laughs> but at the same personal. time, when you're putting your baby out into the world, you, you know, the world personal. is not kind. The world is just... Personal. You can't take it personal. No, you got to... can't listen, take it personal. You got to listen to every feedback, whether it's good, bad, or ugly. And I, when I get bad reviews, I print them out. I print them. And I right. highlight them. I circle and I listen, and everything that's on there that they said bad, my goal is to change try to it. figure out how to make that different. So you got to look at it, because if you never get bad feedback, then how are you going to know to improve? How are you right. going to know to get better? Right. You're not going to know to get better. That's right. all part of the process. That's part of the entrepreneur process. You're going to get bad feedback. Receive it. You want it. 
you want it. Get it. Because you need to teach a class and let let the people know now now that we're opening up because I that was one of the thoughts that came in my mind. I was just like, we're about to, you know, drop all these dollars. Yeah. But don't be quick to get on Yelp. I'm a speak yogi. <laughs> yes. So my, my don't be quick to get on Yelp. Pull her to the side or if you Oh yeah, you know, that's and another thing is that supporting a black owned business means that we don't blast us. No. Don't blast us. We got to no. support each other. Now, granted, if you tell an owner and the owner is not receiving it, then let it leave it, release it. Release it to the universe, figure it out. Somebody else is going to tell them. They're going to get it. They're going to figure it out because the door is probably going to close in a minute. So they'll, right. get it. they'll get it. You know? Right. People always ask me, how do you maintain to be in downtown Atlanta, Georgia um, for thir going on 13 years? Yeah. And I, I say one. I think it's about the love and the passion that I have for my customers. I, right. listen, I listen to them. And You're very I get, welcoming. I get the feedback, and when I get it, I call them back. If I get a feedback, I'll call somebody back and be like, hey, thank you for the feedback. Thank you. Yeah. And I, and I don't give them no excuses. No excuses. If we were wrong, we were wrong. And if you felt we were wrong, then we were wrong. Okay? Right. It's not about, oh, and we didn't... Uh, we, such as we were short of staff and we didn't get, they don't want to hear that. Right. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I just so, want to fix I don't it. Hear it. <laughs> just fix it. Yeah. But you're very welcoming anyway. Like your spirit and your energy is very like, even if you did make a mistake, I'd still be like, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I'll be back. <laughs> yes. But yes. I think that that's one of the things that, you know, I was, I've been listening to all of these like entrepreneurial podcasts and just, yes. you know, how people who have, um, you know, started from the bottom and whatever, you know, they started with and all the different um, advice they give yes. um, that. I mean, you with, yeah, yeah, you got it. You, you are a prime example of that, Angela. I mean, you you are very consistent and you're very persistent with a nice love with it. And I like that. <sighs> You know, and that's why when you called me and asked me to do this, I was like, absolutely. No, yes. No problem. No but we problem. connected from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. But we got to support, but we have to do yeah. it with, with empathy and compassion. And yeah. we got we to receive that feedback. We got to mm -hmm. receive it because you want it. You want it. Yeah. You want it. And you should you know, be mad if there is no feedback. Right. <laughs> um, you have to, I mean, and, and small business owners, we, to me, we're the cornerstone. We're the right. cornerstone. We make this world go round and round. You know? Yeah. We are the cornerstone. I mean, it's nothing like a small <clears throat> a small business because it's intimate, it's personable, you know? And it's and that's what a lot of my customers love. They love right. the, the personal touch that I can give, you know, as a small business owner. And so we have to remember as entrepreneurs that we have to do that. And now with the corona... I think it's real important that you connect with your customers and you mm -hmm. don't have to connect with them face to face, but you can connect with them digitally. But right. you gotta, you gotta really listen to them, listen to them. That's what, you know, I don't know. Oh, you knew I, I was just featured in the um, New York times. I saw. And, uh, and so they asked me, they was came to me, the New York times. It was like, we want to know how did you as a small business owner pivot through this? And, um, I, I think the first main ingredient was that you had to stay positive. You yeah. got to stay positive and you got to always focus on the, the that everything's going to work out. I always know that everything is going to work out no matter what. And I always stay true to that. And I just look for my feel goods. And I and, and you know when you're in business, you don't want to let your clients down. You know, no. they're like they're family to you. So that's what keeps me going because I never want to. I never want to let them down, and I never want to let my staff down. So that's what keeps me going. I'm like I can't give up. I have a lot of people right. who are dependent on me and who love my business. So I, I got to keep going. I have to keep going. So when will the Oasis be open? Are you going to wait to the beginning of the new year, or are you going <clears> to? <throat> yes. Yeah, so in the midst. Before the BC, I call it BC, before Corona. Before um, Corona. <laughs> BC, DC, and AC. <laughs> so yes. we're in DC right now during Corona. <laughs> but um, before Corona, 
um, I um, decided to open up um, to expand e refresh and create e refresh farm oasis, which is right. a um, a wellness. We call it a social wellness center. And basically, what that is is that is um, a lot of um, healing. Oh, we froze here. Um, a lot of energy work. Um, we wanted to bring that in the community, so we're going to be smack dead in the community of Atlanta, Georgia, where you in the middle of Atlanta. In the middle, in smack dead, we're going to be in the south side of Atlanta. In the so where is that? Is that over side. near? Is that Campbellton uh, Road? Over near Turner Turner Field. Um, oh, Lakewood, Lakewood Amphitheater. Yes, over there. Right there at eighty five. Yes, yes. So it's on the south side, and uh, that I did that intentionally. I wanted to bring wow. services to our people in our community. Yes, so, indeed. Yes. So we we started out the construction and the architect all before Corona. And uh, when Corona hit, it just kind of slowed down a little bit, but we never stopped. And so we're still moving. Um, it looks like our, our, our live date would either be the first week of August or the first week of September. So Well, I'll be uh, down there in August. Yeah. Oh, you will? Oh, cool. Well, you can come by. Yeah. If, we'll, if we, we may not, uh, we probably will be open. We'll just do a soft open. Okay. We'll do a soft open. And then we will do our... Um, do our uh, heart opening probably in September. Yes, indeed. I'm so proud of you. And every time I say it, I say it, I say it, I mean it because it's that has just always been something in my mind to make my ancestors proud. Like that's one of my driving forces. And it always has been that because, yeah. you know, they went through a lot in order for us to even be able to do what we're doing right now. Absolutely. And for me to disappoint them Absolutely. with not even trying. Yes. Or not trying, or not even trying to make my mark, or you yes. know, give back to my community. It was, yes. I don't want to be at the gates looking like yes. I was just down there kicking it. I just, yes. I just. Yes, we have to honor our ancestors. We absolutely. Because they paved absolutely. the way. They paved the way for us. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, I, I really, really thank you. I know that you're in the middle of opening up, and I know everyone is just like. They're itching. Are you able to do manicures now and facials now? or? Yeah, so we're going to be doing manicures, pedicures, facial massage, but everything is modified. You know, we have okay. the, the COVID-19 edition, so we've modified everything. But, um, yeah, we're going to be doing everything. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes we're, indeed. We're excited about it. We have a lot of people been waiting on um, waiting on us to open. Uh, we, so you... we were not going to do a lot of walk-ins initially. Right. Uh, we'll be doing a by appointment only. Uh, we will be doing temperature check. We will make sure that everybody who comes in here has on a mask. They have to yeah. do a lot of survey, and uh, and they have to have the right temperature, and they have to have on a mask. They have to have hand sanitizer. We'll have a lot of that going on. So we're going to be very cautious, very mm -hmm. safe. That comes first for me. I don't really. I love e refresh. I love my business, but safety. Is yes. Nice. So you, so the annual green party's on hold then. Yeah, the annual green party was supposed to be last weekend. Yeah, it's annual. It's always the second Saturday of June. Yeah. So um, um, we had to put it off. I, I put on some green that day to honor, you know, to honor. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do a promotional uh event tomorrow, and it's just gonna be e refresh. We're just gonna have a live stream tomorrow from four to six. So you okay. can follow us live on e Fresh Farm Oasis and Ewe. We'll be doing a live promotion talking about the new Farm Oasis, the new center that we're opening up, the healing center. That, we'll that is so amazing. Yes. I'll be on there. I'll, I have to, wear even your though green, I can't be there wear physically. Your green. Put on some green. green is my right. favorite color. Oh, is that your favorite color? Yes. That's what's up. That's cool. Yes, yes, yes. I That's my that. favorite color. I love but that. But everyone follow Ewe Fresh because she is bomb. Get your products. Their, you. their digital space is open. Yes. It never stops. Yes. Uh, 14 karat glow. Instagram. Oh, that carrot glow. Yes. Yes, you know, started it off. Because, you know, Angela, now we're selling our products at three uh, local Whole Foods here in Atlanta. I know. I saw yes. that. Yes. I read that in New York Times where you yes. started the um, for them to deal with um, small businesses during this time. They were very helpful. And that's another thing. Another advice that I would say is don't be afraid to ask. 
don't be afraid to go and ask for what you want with these large corporations. Just go ask. Only thing they can say is what? No. And um and you know Whole Foods had told us you know because we were in the process of um, launching, and then COVID came, and so I right. got an email from the buyer that said, "Hey Yolanda, COVID hit, so we're not gonna be able to launch you guys. We're gonna have to do it later than sooner." And I'm like, later than sooner. Hmm. So I emailed her back and I said, well, what are you guys doing for black? I said, I didn't say black, but I said, what are you guys doing for small business owners? Uh -huh. So then she replied, called me, she emailed me back the next day and said, you know, after you asked me that question, I went to my team and I asked my team, what could we do for small business owners? And then they came back and said, you know, we told you later than sooner. We're going to do it sooner than later. And then they launched us with three stores the next day. And what's so crazy about it? Like, this is a, I want to say it's a um, full moment. Because I remember when I was working with you and you had said, I always wanted to be at Whole Foods. Yes. You said it. That was I remember that. It was and on when my vision I, board. Yes. And when you did it the first time, I was just like, look at God. Yes. Look at God. And then I, when you came yes. through, it was like, Three times, and I was just like, you know what? what? I tell you entrepreneurs is we, as black people, we got to get out of this fear. Go get it. If you want to be partnered with Nike, a partner with, I don't know, whoever, ask them. Ask them. Right. All they can say is no. The worst thing someone can say is no. Ask them. Get you a vision board. I have a vision board every year. And every yes. year, all my vision, all my dreams, all my desires are manifested. Every year. Every year. So, you know, think big, dream. Go get it. Don't be afraid to step out. You know, go step out and get it. But always be consistent with your, with your compassion and your empathy. Always make sure you take care of your customers. And right. don't always put, don't run out the dollars. Don't always put a dollar to everything. You know, you know, money doesn't, you know, I've learned that you win a lot with, with not always putting a dollar to it. Give away things right. sometimes. Give away. Right. You know? Yes. You got those t-shirts. Yeah. You need to go ahead and give me one. I'll send you one. I'm going <laughs> to get your address. We're putting it to the test, y'all. <laughs> I mean, I'm... I'm I send out, like, I'm sending, I send out to the people who have supported me I you send out to, to the people that you have I send out people that. who are just down for me whenever That's you know because you you when you're that. when you're creative, a lot of people don't understand that space. Yes. So when they don't understand that space, they think that you're just yes. <laughs> they think you're corny. Yeah. They think you're you know yes. they do because they, they do. don't see the vision. They don't. See but the then vision. when the vision start coming and oh, start moving. Oh, because see, when I I was an engineer, right? And yeah. So when I left corporate America and I told people, they were like, well, what are you going to do? You're going to open up your own consulting firm as an engineer? I was like, no, mm -hmm. I'm in skin care, body care. And they're like, what? You're going to. Why do you want to do that? Why would you want to do that? So I had to stop telling a lot of people my dream, right. my vision, because I didn't want them to be fire, fire uh, fighters trying to fight out my dream. Um, right. So what I did, and, but when Ewe came around, those same people that were like, Mm, they're your customers oh my god they jumped on my wagon we're so proud of you oh we want to be a part but you know that's just life you have to show right. them sometimes you got to show them yeah right but you know who cares what they say you still follow your vision you do what you do and you make it happen you make it happen i Absolutely. i left the engineer and i did ev fresh and i stayed consistent i stayed on it i never gave up no matter what i didn't waver and i stayed on it and, and the main thing, like I told you, you got to have fun. I see so many entrepreneurs who are so passionate that they forget to have fun. And they're not yeah. even fun to be around because they're irritated, yeah. they're irritable, they're grumpy, they mean, they stress. That's not fun. So right. you know, I tell entrepreneurs, come out of the woods. Remember, why are you doing this? Because you're doing it for freedom. You're doing it to have fun. So don't forget to have fun. Don't get so caught up in it, in the trinkets where you are this grumpy, irritable person and nobody don't want to be around you. Right. You know? Right. 
and you're like, well, I'm hitting the grind. I got to stay focused. I got to do this. No, you can stay focused and have fun at the same time. Absolutely. Yes. You need to be happy that you're getting those freedom papers. That's, That's right. what it is. That's right. You need it. Because right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when the slaves yes. got their freedom papers, they was doing yes. the two-step and everything else. Yeah. <laughs> we got we to gotta, we gotta release a little bit and yeah. know that. And you got to believe that it's going to work out. You have to manifest it. You got to do the work. And you got yeah. to put those vibrations out there and those frequencies out there. And it's going to happen. And you got to attract what you want. So if you're grumpy and irritable, then that's what you're going to attract to you is grumpy and irritable. I say that all the time. I don't say the grumpy part, but I, I, I'm a firm believer that you are who you attract. Absolutely. So well, I, that's why I'm working on myself so I don't attract no crazy. That's right. You got to be conscious. You got to be conscious, man. You got to be conscious. You got to be woke, as they say. <laughs> Absolutely. Gotta, gotta, I think, you know, we were taught that I know I was taught back in the day, you know, when I was growing up, like no pain, no gain. You got to hit right. the line. You got to uh, uh, uh. And what I have learned is that I'm not saying don't work and I'm not saying not stay focused, but we got to learn how to balance it with a little bit of self-care, a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of right. joy and harmony and fun. You know, we have to be able to partner with that we have to put that together that combination because mm -hmm. remember you know you're living day to day and and we don't know when our last day could be you're right so you you want to enjoy you gotta have fun courtney hey courtney i'm on okay i got people i'm outside and people are driving by my jeep and they're like hey yolanda so I'm it's fine right. but um, it's fine yeah, i mean i really want to stress you know, to really, because self-care, yeah, we got to take care of ourselves. We got to right. take care of ourselves. And we don't have to, like, be sleepless nights and, and all of that to make it happen. Because if right. it's for you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Say that again. If Say it's for that you, again. It's going to happen. And you got to believe that. You got to believe it and you got to know it. You got to know it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I thank you again because I just always enjoy talking to you because it just, you know, it motivates me, inspires me, and yes. I'm just, you know, I'm just here for the Yolanda show. Yeah, you're so funny, the Yolanda show. That's cute. I mean, that's a good, hello. I mean, have to, you know, have a Yolanda show. That's so funny. Yeah. That's funny. I like that because I've been trying to figure out my pivot online, what I could do. What class I think you should I think you should have it where you are showing people how they can make products from what they have in their house. That so I do do that. I do have a yeah. zero waste safe face. Yeah. A lot of and put it on YouTube. To teach classes. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, put it on YouTube. Yeah. On YouTube. Just a snippet like a 2 minute thing where like I really enjoyed the one that you did when you had um you had lemons. Uh-huh. I like, I really enjoyed that. But okay. yeah, because okay. now that the vegan space is opening up, they okay. just started a um, plant-based network. It's out gotcha. of Charlotte. Gotcha. And so they are looking for content and things of that nature. Yeah. Um, and Amazon just dropped uh, an all vegan um, show where they have like different vegan chefs and they invite their little friends on and yeah. show them that vegan food is good. So, uh -huh. I mean, we need to have a, and, we need to have a, a vegan skincare show. Yeah. Absolutely. On Amazon. Dylan, with the on Amazon. vegan Maybe beauty space. Yeah. Yes, the vegan beauty space, and you can have like maybe a hairstylist that just deals with vegan products or whatever the case may be, and do a you know just a whole. Let me let me upgrade you from you know regular to natural. Well, I guess I don't know. Yolanda. Her name is Yolanda too. Hey, how are you? So I'm she's she's, you. she's partnered with me on the farm oasis. Yes, the Yolandas that are working on the farm. The yes, the Yolandas. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I, you know what? I am absolutely wonderful, and right this moment, just on top of the world. Yes. So yes, indeed. I'm on her live. I'm her guest. Oh, okay. Today, <laughs> she said I need to have. A when I get down show. there, I want to meet. I want to meet you, Yolanda. Oh, I'm looking forward to it, and the Yolanda show is coming. <laughs> and I'm gonna be a guest. I need to be a guest. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you so much again. I won't hold you up because I know everyone is just 
ready to see you. And um, I really appreciate your wisdom. I appreciate you, you know, showing up for me. And I'm just, you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Thank you. Anytime, Angela, you know, anytime you call me, I'm there. I'm yes, there. indeed. And next time, yes, I, won't, I won't be late. <laughs> oh, I didn't want to say nothing. You know what? Because, you know, I'm working you know on. I got in here and I got around my plants. Because, you know, right. I love plants. So I took all yeah. my plants out. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you how I took all my, um, all, see, I took all the plants outside of Ewe. Wow. All outside, and I've been out here just, I got into my plant world, and I got lost track of time. <laughs> are you, I was in my plant You're world. located, are you over there by the um, Georgia Dome? Yes, we're by the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, yes. Oh, it's Mercedes-Benz Stadium now? Yeah, that's it. Where the Falcons oh. play, yes. Uh -huh. I haven't been to Atlanta in so long. Oh, yes. Yes. Like, it's been over 10 years. Oh, wow. It's yes. Come back. That's a long time. I'll be there in August. Yes. To come I can't visit. wait to see you. Yes. I'm yes. so excited. That's but I will nice. let you go. Thank you, everyone who came on Vegan Pop Eats. It was supposed to be on the Vegan Pop Eats channel, but, you know, I pushed the button. So we just rolled with it <laughs> next time. <laughs> I like that. That's how what I'm talking about, flowing. Just we just roll with it. It'll be on, um, I'll record this, and it'll also be on the Vegan Pop Eats page, and it'll also be on YouTube. So for those of you who didn't get to see the whole thing, you'll have two spaces where you can see everything. And remember, Vegan Pop Eats is a space where you can come with no judgment and come on over to the green side. You're going to like it. Yes. Ewe fresh. The sign. It yes. is what it is. It, it is, is what it is. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes. So, I'm well, I will go, talk um, to you later, Yolanda. I got to get your address so I can send you a shirt. Yes. And I'm going to send you a shirt too. Yes. Yes, you, yes, uh, yes. Uh, Ewe Fresh shirt on the back of our shirt. This is the front of our shirt. Yes! And then on the back of it is this. Yes, indeed. I yes. think I still have the very first one, that, one of the first ones that you did. Oh, you need to bring that with you. If I, It's in my storage in North you. Carolina. Bring it with Oh, it's in North Carolina. Okay. I'm yes. I see a picture of it. <laughs> yes. But I will talk to you later. Okay. Thank you so much. All righty. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. Well, thank you everyone who stayed to the very end. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, that was so dope. I really, really, truly love Yolanda. If you are in need of any kind of vegan products, she does everything farm to skin. Um, the products do need to be refrigerated. Go to www.ewefresh.com. And yeah, I will see you guys later on the, on the actual channel. <laughs> and thank you so much for showing up. Bye.